Hey guys, Tool Me and Tim here. Today we're gonna take a look at the cordless DeWalt snowblower. Is it worth the steep price? Who's this designed for? And I'm gonna share with you my surprising results after finally getting my first real snowfall here on the prairies in Canada. So let's take a look. All right, so the company says that it will clear 16 average size parking spaces. Those parking spaces are nine feet by 18 feet with an average of three to five inches of snow depth. Their next claim is that this thing will throw snow up to 40 feet. Now they're also very clear. That is the arced distance. So they're measuring from here this way. I got it to throw closer to 20 feet, which for a battery powered snowblower, I'm more than sufficiently happy with. So if you take their calculations, it should allow for 2,500 square feet of snow clearing on an average of three to five inches of depth. So guess what? I got between four and five inches of snow and I wanna show you guys exactly how much area this thing cleared. Pretty rare that I am as blown away by the performance of a cordless tool as I was with this. I ended up getting right around 6,000 square feet of clearance with this machine. It did my garage pad, my driveway, a running pad for the dogs, the entire back deck, a pathway out front, a pathway along the front deck, and then down the front walkway. All right, so what are the pros of this? Now that I'm only doing my home's snow and our rental property across the road, I thought, hey, let's take a chance. Now here's the thing, most single stage snow blowers I've dealt with tend to have rubber or plastic impellers or augers inside. This one, this was probably the thing that impressed me the most about it. Solid metal auger. So lightweight, I can pick this thing up, I can throw it into the back of the truck if I need to, but honestly, it's just really easy for maneuvering around in the snow. It handles things like dog toys, pop cans, and small pieces of wood way better than I expected it to. The dashboard display up there is wonderful. It has a bunch of LEDs on either side, so it shows you the battery life of each battery. When the dashboard display starts getting really low when it gets down to two bars or just about one bar, it starts blinking to let you know. There's a lot of reviews online that say it didn't handle hard pack snow really well. Anything like this, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna get out and do it either in the middle of the snowfall or at the very end of the snowfall. Don't wait until it's been out there for seven days, the sun's got to it, it's got a crust of ice. But there was some stuff over to the sides of my driveway that was very crusty, very icy, now, it required a little bit of extra elbow grease of pushing, but it chewed through it way better than I expected. I assumed I would just hit it, it would stop, and it wouldn't touch it. The next best thing, conversation quiet. I've spent the last seven years using two-stroke backpack blowers and four-stroke beasts of an engine snow blowers, and it's hard on your ears. This thing, I can run it, I can stand here and talk to you just like we're carrying on. All right, so what are the cons? Well, there's one thing I do like about it is when you push the buttons up there, this thing rotates, which is great. The problem is the second adjustment that most snowblowers have automatically is this right here. So what you end up getting is this right here. So as you adjust the height of the chute blowing the snow out, it ends up vibrating loose. Now, how about the chute itself? Not bad, but it's plastic. Check this out. I don't love that. I'm gonna try tightening it down a little bit more, but it is a little bit on the flopsy side. Now, another con are the wheels. They're okay. Again, they don't look like they should be as sturdy as they are, but for what it's built like, I'm okay with it. Let's talk about some other concerns or issues. If you go on homedepot.com and you start filtering through all the reviews to see what people have to say, there are a ton of glowing reviews on this product. The problem is, is that every single one of them says product provided free for a review. Now, do I take products sometimes and offer to do an honest review? Absolutely I do. But when you see that many reviews from that kind of situation, it kind of puts the hackles up a bit. And then the first couple you find after that are searingly negative reviews. However, if you dig through, eventually you will come to the folks who actually paid for this with their hard earned money. And to be honest, the reviews were a lot better than I expected. The problem is, is that folks need to temper their expectations. When DeWalt is specifically clear, 40 foot arc and 16 parking spaces, you need to know what you're gonna get with this product. I'm gonna say overall, reading the negative reviews, the folks that were disappointed with this product were people who had the wrong expectations, were folks who bought this thinking, 
I'm going to use it for 25 inches of snow. No, you're not. But here's the deal. If you know you've got a huge storm coming out and this is the only snow blower you have, then here's the deal. Go out at six inches, clear it. Go out again at six inches and clear it. Who is this designed for? Well, number one, senior citizens, people who have a hell of a time pushing the big, bulky, two-stage snow blowers, all made out of metal and weigh 400 pounds. Of course it is. Folks with small properties, folks who have kind of similar to us, a decent sized driveway. I actually have almost my entire yard turned into on-ground deck. I use it for that. I use it for my front sidewalks. That is who it's designed for. I'd also say it's not designed for folks who tend to get a lot of big, heavy, wet snow. If you live on the East Coast and it's very common for you to get two or three feet of just above freezing or just below freezing snow, a single stage snow blower of any bent is not gonna work for you. However, if you live in the prairies or more arid climates like I do, where the moisture content of snow tends to be rather low, that is ideal for you. Okay, so first thing is this guy with two 12 amp hour, 60 volt flex volt batteries, we'll talk about that in a minute, is $999 American. Okay, this by itself from DeWalt or Home Depot, $699.99 without the batteries. Okay, so we'll call it $1,000 or $700 without the batteries. Now, the cheapest I can find these 12 amp hour batteries was on Amazon, $269.99. So we'll call them $270. Times that by two, $540. So if you were to buy these regular, at regular price, you'd end up getting this guy for around $460. So you're saving $250 there. Or let's do it the other way. You buy this guy at $699, and you're basically getting a buy one, get one free on these batteries. Now, finally, one more thing that you might've come to this video wanting to find out about, and that is, <laughs> why does the picture show 12 amp hour batteries? Why does the description on Home Depot say four amp hour batteries? Here's the controversy. These are 12 amp hour batteries at the standard 20 volt DeWalt system. When they upgrade them to the 60 volt flex volt, they end up only being four amp hours. I want them to call it a 12 amp hour battery because I automatically know how big a 12 amp hour battery is gonna to compare to a five amp hour, a two amp hour, or a 10 amp hour. If they call these a four amp hour flex volt, all of a sudden my brain needs to make one more connection. So what are my final thoughts on this? Well, for me and my situation living on the Canadian prairies where our snow tends to be lighter, it's perfect for me. I switched quite a few years ago away from all the gas powered mow and snow gear. The only thing I stayed with was backpack blowers and gas powered snow blowers when I was doing it or 30 yards at a time. But for me, now that I just take care of mine and my rental property across the street, this is ideal. It was the last thing, this and the Ego backpack blower you're gonna see eventually. There are so many benefits to going with battery, but they don't work for everybody. You're not gonna run an entire snow removal business anywhere in Canada off of battery in this day and age. Will it happen sometime? I hope so, because I'll tell you, not breathing in the fumes, not spilling gas, not having to refill it, not making the noise at six o'clock in the morning. I love the convenience of battery. That doesn't mean this is for everybody. This is a thousand dollar DeWalt product that comes with almost $600 worth of batteries. So if you're looking at jumping in and getting a couple of really good batteries for a discounted price and getting to try what I would consider DeWalt's leading edge technology because this is brand new for them, then give it a shot. But if you're on the other end and you're on the East Coast or somewhere else that gets two or three feet of heavy, thick snow, then no, this is not for you. So it's a great big, it depends. <laughs> so if you've stuck to the end of this video, number one, I gotta thank you. I make these videos just for you. So hit that subscribe button, stick around. And if you are going down the DeWalt cordless rabbit hole and you're like, hey, I didn't know they made push mowers. I gotta check that out. Check out that video I did right there of the DeWalt push mowers. And as always folks, stay happy, stay healthy and have a great week.